ASE has developed a new testing and certification program for all XEV vehicles, including light duty and medium heavy duty hybrid electric vehicles based on these standards. The industry developed program provides two options to certify shop owners and their employees based on their involvement with EVs. The XEV Electrical Safety Awareness Certification, Level 1, is designed for anyone who may encounter an EV in the workplace. This includes identifying individuals who perform tasks in the proximity of electric-powered vehicles in sales, service, repair, and or related environments. Level 1 individuals require high-voltage electrical safety awareness to identify the hazards and reduce the associated risks when working on or near electric vehicles and or near high-voltage components of electric-powered vehicles. Skills performed by Level 1 individuals may include operating or driving the vehicle, performing maintenance and repairs not related to high-voltage systems or their components, handling non-high voltage components of electric powered vehicles and encountering electric powered vehicles and or high voltage components of electric powered vehicles while performing job related tasks. The XEV Technician Electrical Safety Certification Level 2 is for service professionals, technicians or specialists who have received high voltage electrical training, have demonstrated skills and knowledge, related to the construction, operation, and repair of electrically powered high voltage vehicles, maintain an electrically safe working area, and use required personal protective equipment. They have also received safety training to identify the hazards and reduce the associated risks. Skills performed by level two repair professionals may include evaluating and classifying the condition of the high voltage battery and high voltage electrical system, isolating the voltage from the high voltage systems and checking the isolation from the supply, securing the high voltage system against being activated, restarting the high voltage system, performing general work on de-energized high voltage systems and components, and assessing the risk of high voltage vehicles that were involved in an accident. To learn more about the new ASC Light Duty Hybrid Electric Certification Program, visit ASE.com slash EV. To get started, you can purchase either a batch of tests for your employees or an individual test through the MyASE.com website. Once you log into the site, go to Store. Use the menu on the left, go to the XEV Test Voucher section, and then click on XEV Test Vouchers. From here, you can purchase an individual voucher or multiple vouchers for your employees if you have an employer account set up. The Level 1 test contains 20 questions and costs $38.99. The Level 2 test contains 30 questions and costs $49.99. The test is valid for 90 days from the date of purchase. Once you have the vouchers, you can go to the ASE.com slash EV site and click on ASE net exam link. You will need to register for a net exam account by clicking on the register link in the pop up. If you already have an account, you would just log in with your email and password. Once you set up your account and log in, you will see something like this. In this case, I have two tests that have already been purchased through the voucher process and are available to take. If you have a voucher that you want to apply to take a test, you can use the box to the right to enter the voucher number and click Redeem Voucher to add it to your account. The right-hand column under Helpful Resources contains some links to the EV standards documents. If you click on the My Test tab at the top of the screen, you will see all the available tests that have been purchased for this account. If you click on the Transcript tab at the top of the screen, you will see all the available tests that have been purchased for this account and the status of them. In this case, you can see that both of these tests are incomplete because they have not been launched yet. If you click on the Profile tab at the top of the screen, you can update any of your registration information from when you set up your account. This is also where you can reset your password if necessary. Now we're ready to start a test. I'm going to take the XEV Electrical Safety Awareness Level 1 test. There are additional links once you click on it to the standards documents. There's also some information on your test status to the right. Click on Take Test button to get started.
The terms and condition pop-up will come up letting you know that the test must be taken in one sitting. It also lets you know that you have 90 days to take the test once you've purchased it. There are some other additional notes that you should read in the pop-up, like there is no 30-day wait period on these tests, so if you fail an attempt, you can purchase the test again and retake it. If you're retaking one of these tests, though, we would recommend that you take your time and review your score report and the EV safety standards document to make sure you understand the material. Once you agree to the terms and conditions, the test will start. Once the test starts, you have 60 minutes to complete it. There is a timer in the lower left of the screen letting you know how much time you have left. At the bottom of the screen, you will see all the questions, so you can move through the test this way or use the arrow keys to the left and right of the question to advance or go back to a question. After you answer a question and hit the forward arrow, you will see that there is now a check mark in the question box at the bottom of the screen. You can use this indicator or the filters just above them to track your progress as you are answering the test questions. You can flag the questions using this box below the possible answers so you can come back to it before submitting your test. When you are done with all the questions, you can click the Submit and Grade button to complete the test. If there are any questions that were still flagged, you will get a pop-up message letting you know that you need to review your answers. You will need to find the flag question and uncheck it before you can submit your test for scoring. Once you submit your test, you will receive a score report that will show you whether you passed the test or not. It will also go by sections of the standards document and let you know how many questions were asked out of each section and how many you answered correctly. Now, when you go back to the transcript tab, you'll see your completion date of the test and you'll also be able to download a copy of your certificate for completing the test. Here's a copy of the certificate that you can now print. These XEV certifications are valid for a total of three years.